Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Latola, and I'd like to welcome you to this clinical presentation from Glidewell Laboratories. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Avio TSD Health Professional Sizing Kit and what you'll find is that the medium-sized Avio TSD fits about 95% of your patients, but there's going to be a few patients who are a little smaller than average or a little larger than average and this professional sizing kit was going to allow you to have a small and a large Avio TSD to try into these patients and see if this is going to be a better solution for them. Also, you're going to notice we have a couple unispacers in the kit that allows you some additional titration to bring the tongue forward. If the patient is wearing the Avio TSD and is comfortable with it, they're snoring less, but the snoring hasn't stopped completely. This gives you the ability to use these titration rings to get some better results. Let's take a closer look at the Health Professional Sizing Kit. So here is the Avio TSD Health Professional Sizing Kit, and we'll go ahead and take it out of the box. You know, you really only need one of these in your office. It's kind of like having a Vita Shade Guide in the sense that with a Vita Shade Guide, you're able to uh, pick whichever color of ceramic you need for that particular patient. And uh, with the Avio uh, TSD Health Professional Sizing Kit, you're able to make sure that you've got uh, the right size, either in stock for the patient or you can order the right size for them as well. Um, most of what you're going to stock is going to be the medium size because that will cover 95% of your patients, but it's nice to be able to, on your smaller and larger patients, be able to try in these other sizes and see what you need. And then if you have a large, for example, a patient who requires a large and don't have it in stock, then you can order the large from us and make sure that you have the right size. The booklet that comes with it's going to go over everything that uh, we're going to talk about here today. In fact, it goes over it in kind of more detail. It's extremely complete and very comprehensive, but we know uh, a lot of dentists don't want to take the time uh, to read a 19-page booklet, so we're going over this uh, as well so you get an idea of what is in the kit and how to best use it. Incidentally, since these devices are going to be tried into patients' mouth to see what size they are and then reused on other patients, it's good to know that uh, the entire tray and all the devices on it can be sterilized. So you can take, after trying, say, two or three of these into a patient's mouth, you can take this tray out and go right to your autoclave with it for sterilization. So when you look, the medium size is right in the middle. And again, this is going to fit about 95% of your patients. But for the patients who are a little smaller or larger than average, we've got two other sizes. So let's take a look at the large as well. And if you look at it from the top, you can see there's some increase uh, in the space that's available for the tongue, but it's probably a little easier to see if we compare the large to the small. And when you see those side by side, you can see that there's probably an extra, say, 20% space for the tongue. And if you look at the skirt, you can see we definitely have a much larger orifice on the large than we do for the small. So again, you're going to find that uh, on a certain amount of patients, maybe 5 to 10% of them, you're going to try in the medium first and then find that you need to try either the small or the large in to see if you get a better fit. And let's look at the unispacers as well. Here's the four millimeter thick and the seven millimeter thick, which as you'd expect is almost twice as thick. And again, these are gonna be used on a patient who is wearing the Avio TSD and who is comfortable with it and experiencing some reduction in the amount of snoring, but not as much as they or their spouse would like. And so by using the spacer, you're gonna be able to get a little better titration, some more anteriorization of the tongue, and again this just slips on around the skirt and then clips on to the Avio TSD itself, and when this sits against the teeth, it's going to move the tongue even farther forward. So to illustrate that and how the sizing kit works, let's go ahead and take a look at some clinical cases. So we've got our first patient with us. This is Mark. Mark is six feet tall, about 180 pounds. And so you might think, well, that seems like a pretty obvious medium size for the Avio TSD. But the tongue's a funny thing. It's a shape shifter. It's not always in the same proportion as the rest of the person. So even though uh, you might look at somebody of average size like Mark and say, OK, well, he'd be a large in a shirt. Uh, that's not always true with uh, an Avio TSD and with the tongue, and that's really why you need to have the professional sizing kit with you, uh, because you're going to find people who are average size that have larger than average tongues and smaller than average tongues, and so you can kind of make a generalization and be right about 90, 95% of the time, but it's nice to have the sizing kit anyway. 
That said, we're going to begin on mark with the medium. So I'm going to take the medium and I've got some warm water that I'm going to dip it into. This just makes it a little easier for the patient to get their tongue in. And actually, Mark, since you're going to be doing this at home by yourself, I'm going to have you go ahead and do this and hold on to that bulb and place it in your mouth. And I'm going to have you stick your tongue all the way into the appliance, if you would. Okay. There you go. And did you hear? I don't know if you, and I know you can't really respond to me, but there was a suction sound when you did that that you heard. So as the tongue goes in, it forces the air out, and that creates... Uh, a suction that's going to help hold that tongue in. Now, whether or not that suction is going to be enough to hold your tongue in, we're going to find out when you take this home for the first few nights and sleep. There are ways to get additional suction on the tongue. You can actually squeeze the device at this point and squeeze some remaining air out and get a stronger suction on your tongue. Go ahead and try that for me. There you go. I can see the tongue go back and then shoot forward again. I don't know if you can feel the difference when you do that, but you can get some additional suction, which is going to help anchor the tongue in a little bit more. And what I'm going to suggest that you do for these first few nights is actually put the Avio TSD in, stick your tongue into it like you did right in the beginning, and I want you to just go about your normal routine, whether that's reading a book or watching a little television, and actually wear the appliance for, say, 30 to 45 minutes before you go to sleep. That's going to do a couple things. It's going to help acclimate you to having this in your mouth and make it easier to fall asleep because it's definitely going to feel foreign the first few nights when you try to go to sleep. The other thing it's going to do is see if whether or not we have enough suction on your tongue because if the Avio TSD falls out while you're watching TV or watching a, or reading a book, it's certainly going to fall out once you're asleep in the bed. So that's a good time to determine whether or not you need that additional squeeze uh, to be able to get more suction on that tongue so it'll, the device will stay in during the night. Also, if you find after the first couple nights that you're waking up and it is falling out, that's an indication that we're going to want some more suction on the tongue as well, and you're going to want to be able to give it that extra squeeze to make sure the tongue stays in there a little bit better while you're sleeping and rolling around during the night. It's too early to know at this point whether or not we're going to use any of those unispacers on you to move the Avio TSD forward, but since we're filming this and for the benefit uh, of the doctors at home who are watching this, let's, let me do a little experiment here. Go ahead and stick your tongue forward for me. Oh yeah, look at that. You can actually see that uh, you definitely have a lot of mobility on your, on your tongue. We've got uh, a fair amount of clearance between the device and your lip when you st stick your tongue forward. Not every patient has that much mobility or freedom of their tongue. So go ahead and take the device off for me by squeezing it and pulling your tongue out. And I'm going to place one of these uh, unispacers on, one of these titration rings, and we'll see if when it brings it even farther forward if you're still comfortable with how that feels. Okay. I'll show you how to place this in case we end up needing one of these for you. Just slips around the apron and then just oh, it slips, clips right it just clips right on. It's really simple. There's no moving parts, and it's just going to give us four more millimeters of moving your tongue forward. So let's go ahead and have you try that in. Same okay. thing. Go ahead and squeeze it and stick your tongue in there. There you go. Perfect. And now it's actually bringing your tongue farther forward. I know your tongue will come even farther forward. I saw you stick it out just a minute ago. Uh, but the idea here is not to necessarily see how far forward we can pull it. It's to move your tongue just enough forward so that you get a cessation of your snoring or so you're happy or your spouse is happy with the reduction in the snoring. So it's not a contest to see how far we can get your tongue out. We just want to make uh, the symptoms go away. We want the snoring to stop with moving your tongue as little forward as possible. Are you comfortable mm -hmm. with that uh, spacer in right now that's not bothering you mm -hmm. too much? Okay, so you might be able to use that. You might be a candidate for that. We'll see. We'll have you wear it without that for the first few nights and see what, uh, what kind of progress we make. And if, if, in fact, your snoring stops altogether or if it just reduces, then we need to hop in with this spacer to help you out. We're now with our second patient, Robin, who's a little bigger than our first patient. Mark, Robin, how tall are you? Six nine. Six foot nine. And what do you weigh? A little over 300 pounds. A little over 300 pounds. So, again, you might expect that he would have a larger than normal tongue, but we don't really know that. We don't necessarily want to make that assumption. So we're going to start, as we always do, with the medium and see how that seems to fit his tongue, and then we can go up to the large from there if we need to. So I will take the medium and, again, just dip it in a little warm water to make it easier for the patient to insert their tongue. And, Rob, you're going to hold the bulb of that and just stick your tongue forward. Okay, that's, I can see, I can see you're struggling just uh, a little bit. See if that'll stay on. Let, see if you can let go of it and you can't even really get it on. I was, here, let me, let me hold the bottom of it. 
and see if we can see on the picture. Go ahead and take your hand off it. And the bulb is empty. You know, on the first patient we were able to see, or I was able to see, that the tongue came all the way forward when he just tried to stick it in. Uh, as Robin tries to put it in, the tongue comes right about to where his lips are, and it's not coming any farther forward than that. So we do have a wide tongue that's being constricted here and not being allowed to come into the bulb. And as a result, uh, he's not able to get his tongue in, and we will not have enough suction to have the appliance be retained throughout the night. So let me take this off for you. And we have a large size that we'll try. And again, it's just a bigger opening with a little more space for your tongue. And that's been in some warm water. So go ahead and there we go. And you can hear, I don't know if you could hear that. I hope it was quiet enough for you to be able to hear it. But you could hear the suction sound and his tongue went forward in it and the air was pushed out of it. And that audio sign is how you know that you've got a good fit. The first time we weren't able to displace any of that air because his tongue could not come far enough forward uh, into the bulb to be able to accomplish that. So this is a good example of a patient uh, who came in and looked like a large. He ended up being a large, but it's always worthwhile to try the medium first because, again, that medium is going to fit 95% of your patients. So we've got your size now, Robin. I can order one of these uh, for you, the large, and have it here in a couple days, and you'll be ready to go. Alternatively, I could send uh, this large Avio TSD uh, home with Robin and then order another one to put back into my sizing kit if we wanted him to be able to start experiencing some relief from snoring tonight. Our next patient is Donna. Donna, how tall are you? Um, five feet. Five feet tall. So she's five feet tall and I'll guess uh, 100 pounds uh, at the most. So you look at Donna and, of course, your first thought would be, oh, she's going to be a small. But again, as we've pointed out in this presentation, always best to start with the medium and go from there because, you know, tongue size isn't always related to height and weight. In fact, it probably has more to do with uh, arch size than it does with anything else. So I'm going to take the medium and, again, dip it in some warm water. And Donna, I'm going to hand this to you and have you grab it right out here in the front. Oh, you're left-handed like me. And then stick your tongue in as far forward as it'll go. There you go. And then let go. And just kind of close your... Yeah, there you go. And let me see what kind of fit we have on there. That's not bad. We actually have pretty good suction there with the medium. You know, the tongue does not come all the way forward like it did on Mark, our first patient, but that's not critically important. No, we're more... Uh, worried about just getting good retention on it like that. So I'm going to squeeze this and take it off. You very well may be a medium. Let's go ahead and try the small just for comparison purposes. Looking straight at that a little bit. There you go. All right, go ahead and grab that again and stick your tongue forward in there. There you go. <laughs> you can hear, yeah, the suction that's there, and it wants to break the suction as I pull on it. And your tongue fits just about the same as there as it did on the medium. It, it seemed like when I watched it, when I squeezed it, uh, that we probably had a little better adaptation with the small. Could you tell any difference when you had uh, the two on? This one is more adapt more. Adapt more. It looks to me like this is actually the better size for you. The medium, you did get the tongue forward in there, uh, but even as I was tugging on it when I took it off, it did seem like it was a little loose. So um, I think that the small is going to be the better size for you, and this will be the size that I order for you, and then uh, we'll provide you uh, with this size. I think the medium is just going to have a little too much play in it, so the small is going to be the right size for you. Thank you, Donna. Many of our doctors have found the Avio TSD to be a welcome addition to their practice and for these doctors the professional sizing kit represents a great value for them. They're able to see a patient and try in each of the three sizes of appliances to find the best fit and the patient knows that they're getting the best appliance that's most suited for them as well. On behalf of all of us here at Gladwell Laboratories I'd like to thank you for your time and your continued commitment to quality dentistry.